All right, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to More Undisputed. And this is going to be a Daniel Jacobs video again. We're going to square off against Saul Alvarez. 84 to 90. I think these two have squared off four in real life. So let's see if the lesser rated fighter and uh, Jacobs can get a win over Canelo with his 90, to, uh, sorry, with uh, the 84 to 90 stat differential. Not too much of a, of a jump, but let's see what we can do. So Canelo's AI is more like a, more of an aggressive AI. So I don't think it's going to be like when I fought Ali with Floyd Patterson a long time to or Amir Khan against Martinez, it where it's like very Watching defensive with... and it's blocking like a good portion of your shots. I find those Daniel that style Daniel of AI to box against. With Canelo Alvarez and Triple G, the former two-time middleweight champion, looks to get back on top with a win in this one. Saul Canelo Alvarez, the Mexican legend, the middleweight, the super middleweight, the light heavyweight who fights out of Guadalajara, Mexico. They have waited for this fight for so long, John. This is ridiculous. There you have it. It is time to go and cannot wait for this fight. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Brooklyn, New York, Introducing an acclaimed and two-time middleweight champion of the world known as the Miracle Man. Introducing Daniel Jacobs. Hiding out of the blue corner from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Here is Mexico's first ever undisputed world champion and renowned star of boxing. Here is a four division world champion and an undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo Alvarez. So much hype surrounding nice. this. Nice, let's match. see how we do. Can't wait to see against Canelo in this one. Down when the opening bell rings. Oh. This is one of my favorite venues. Get the right fight, you've got a night of fun. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Like, I know it doesn't look like him at all there, but when the camera sort of changes now, when I take control of uh, of Jacobs, it looks like Kevin Holland to me. It looks like the UFC's kept, like, there. It's fucking jarring, at, like, but it's only from this angle, I feel it. Like, it, it looks a little bit like Kevin Holland. It's, like, really... Uh, it's, like, really distracting at times, like... But when it obviously switches back to, like, the more... Ca the, the camera where it's, like, face on. Obviously, it looks nothing like Holland, but, like... Oh, look at this, fucking hell. Oh, already Canelo's hit. He's got his eyes on him. Jacob's coming out for blood. Oh, power right straight connected. Canelo up, trying to hang on. Oh, beautiful combination from Jacob. Crazy start to the fight. Canelo got hit twice. Oh, look at this. Great counter right hand there. Oh, that right uppercut got to him. Oh, and a power right straight. Both landed at the same time. A Rocky three moment there. Canelo recovers again. Oh, hard shots. Canelo just took some whopping, whopping punches there. There's a scoring blow. And again, Canelo's hitting. Oh, that left up connected. Oh, and he's going to survive till the end of the... Oh, no, he gets caught with the uppercut at the end of the round. I don't know if that fully connected, to be honest with you. It looked like that hitbox was a little bit off. What 
a huge momentum swing that's going to be, considering that round will be 10-8 after the knockdown. That swelling coming up on Canelo already there. What do we expect to see here in round two? Goes right so up and cuts again through. This fight. Oh, Andrew there's another one. On it looks like we're going to see an early night here. He is rocked. Oh. Oh, that shot to the liver there. Canelo's back just fucking went out. <laughs> but he holds his back like that. He's like, oh, be back. He just misses with that jab. The hook didn't land. Oh, nice right up a counter there. Oh, my stamina's low. Took a few shots. To low stamina, that's not good. Oh, right up a cut left up connected. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. Punches that hard, you don't want to trade shots. Got out of the way that right hook. As we enter the final ten seconds, he's going oh, for the power right straight connected. Oh, and he survived just to the end of the round. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. You're being put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. On to the third. Oh, stiff jab from Canelo. Oh, power right up to the body from Canelo there. told us yesterday if he doesn't win by knockout he doesn't consider it a real victory that's the mentality he has tactics out of the window these guys just want to roll oh, those punches add up trying to answer back Oh, beautiful left uppercut as I stepped in there from Canelo. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Some nice exchanges from nice both combination there, four-piece combo landed. Oh, nice three-punch combo there, jab right straight in the left up. Oh, beautiful right uppercut to the body from Canelo. Oh, exchange of left hooks in the pocket. Oh. Good left hand. Oh, beautiful power right straight in the left hook. Oh, and there's that power right straight again. Oh, that's how you sprint. I wasn't sure how to do that in the, in the Patterson video against Ali. Oh, big right hook over the top there from Canelo. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. The swelling's coming up on that right side. And there's the bell to start round four. In these middleweight type of fights, Johnny, you're obviously not going to see the Oh, look at that left upper cut off that duck. lighter divisions, or the power you see in some of the heavier divisions, but you sort of get the best of both worlds. Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, 
you are in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable. Oh, beautiful left up counter there. Oh, that left upper cut got through. It appears that the moment of trouble has passed, at least for now. Oh, power right straight in the left hook up top again. Exactly There's that left hook. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Trying to just weather this tornado coming at him. That was the moment. Oh, that right up a cut. Oh, and the power right straight finally, finally drops him. Will he make it back to his feet? Oh, there it is again, the jab and the right up a cut. Here and this has not been his round for sure. Couple of wild uppercuts there at the end from Canelo. For sure with the knockdown. I love the response, so got... Here we go in round five. Who's going to land the first big shot? Left scores. Oh, just missing that right up over the top. It just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Oh, liver shot in the right straight. Oh, and just a little one two. Sits him down in the corner. Beautiful jab left up and right straight. I think that was another one of those sort of... Uh, like he's not quite recovered after he's got up off the first knockdown, knockdowns. I feel like they should do away with them. I really don't like that. It's just a free knockdown for the person and it's like a... Guarantees like a second knockdown in the round. That's that. Domination for, for the Daniel Jacobs over Canelo. We get him out of there pretty early. I don't know whether to say this or not, but I'm not sure whether the. Like some of the AI is a little bit too easy to beat now on the hardest difficulty. I feel like the the fighters who just come forward, like Canelo and like the pressure, like you can just tee off on them. But when you go against like the Ali's and the uh, like the the de defensive styles, like Mart Sergio Martinez, who will block a lot of your punches, they'll take you to decisions a lot of the time. But for the ones who are sort of like programmed like Canelo, you can just fucking open up on them with combos. It, it feels a little bit too easy sometimes. But there's your punch totals. 472 total thrown. 48 counters. 70 blocks. We get him out of there with the knockout. Alright, thanks very much for watching. I'm going to leave it there. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you next time.